Hi everyone, it's uh, Rob here. Um, I'm just, it's kind of early evening and I thought I'd just show you this plant. I've just been out with uh, the Frampton Cotterill Nature Group today, uh, which is really great. They were doing a wildflower walk and I, um, yeah, if anyone's never been along or kind of met them, they've got a Facebook group, really encourage you to do that. They did know loads about loads of different things, so it um, be a really fun thing to do. And one of the plants we saw whilst we were out and about doing that was uh, one called pineapple weed, which I thought I'd show you. And uh, there's some growing here on my drive, actually. So um, let me pick a bit. Uh, and then we'll sort of show you up close a little bit. And it looks a bit like the sort of daisy that's had there, the little petals of the daisy removed, that kind of central bit, sort of yellowy. Um, center with these sort of um, kind of feathery little leaves basically. And it's in the, the chamomile family, um, this plant. It has an incredibly um, sort of aromatic smell. As you would probably imagine from the name, it smells of pineapple. It's, it's beautiful. So, um, and um, is isn't actually that tasty to eat, but you can make a really nice kind of refreshing pineapple tea with it. Uh, which is uh, a really, really nice thing to do. And um, I think it's particularly relevant. I mean, I, I speak to a lot of people about kind of sleep problems. Uh, there's a lot of people who, yeah, they just really struggle to fall asleep or something like, um, you know, or they're kind of waking up in the night. And what a lot of people don't know is that caffeinated drinks, so tea, coffee, even green tea, um, they actually stay in your system a long time. Like, how long do you think caffeine uh, lasts in your system? Well. It actually takes six hours from it being at like its maximum sort of concentration in your blood to then being half of that concentration. So even after another six hours, so 12 hours after you've drunk the caffeinated drink, it's still gonna be a quarter of the amount that you had in your system. So, and if you're drinking lots of caffeinated drinks over the course of the day, that's obviously gonna have quite a significant effect. So it might be worth not drinking caffeinated drinks after lunchtime, for example, and see how that affects your sleep. And a really good alternative might be having something like pineapple weed, which is growing, as you can see, out of the cracks in kind of paving slabs, or uh, quite, quite often likes kind of quite hard, compressed earth, uh, sort of the edges of fields and stuff like that. That's where we found it today on the, the nature walk. So why not give it a go, get outside, enjoy what nature has for us, and have um, a sort of fruity tea. Uh, and uh, see if it makes you sleep a little bit better. All right.